I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Good morning! Happy Sunday! Coffee. You already know what it is. Time for coffee. We just got up maybe like we've been up like 30 minutes. It's Awake like, or up? It's like 10. Mm -hmm. I said up. Oh, it's like 10 o'clock. We've been up for like 30 minutes. I actually woke up like uh, 6 this morning. I said, I know you lying. <laughs> Go back to bed, girl. <clears throat> but lately here, I cannot sleep long periods of time. Without forcing myself to, which sounds really weird, but like, it's like once my body hits that like six hour mark, she wants to jump up like it. she's about to run a marathon. It can't sleep anymore, and that's something that's new. Like since I've gotten older, I mean new. Um, I don't feel like that was what was going on in my life before, but now it's like six hours, I'm good. And my body like wakes up. I mean like, she's not lying. Literally, it isn't like this droggy like, like, oh, I gotta get up. It's like how most oh, people sit out of the bed. <laughs> And they'll, uh, and they'll moan and groan and turn over and close their eyes again. No. Her feet hits the floor and it's like, what can I do? But when you, wouldn't you say that's been recently? Because I when, don't remember when, that when we When first. school was in session, I hate getting up in the morning. Yeah. Let's be real. Um, I would be like, oh, let's go back to sleep. I don't remember And babe would be up, like, fixing years. my lunch and stuff. And she'd be like, I'll give you five minutes then you got to get up. Like, that was my life. Lately here, I don't know if it's all the, like, new vitamins and stuff I'm on or what, but, like, six hours max. That's the max I can handle. I'm literally, like, up, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at six in the morning. I hate to say it, but, like, she's taking some speed or something up. Yeah, I don't know what to do. This. I'm only, um, oh, I do this every time. Um, sorry, guys, I'm trying to turn on the... Um, diffuser. But yeah, I don't know if it's like all oh, the vitamins or what have you. But that's what's been happening. So I, this morning when it happened, because y'all know yesterday was kind of like a long day and we we didn't get much sleep the night before that, I was like, mm-mm, girl. She actually climbed back. I did. I really like... I was um, it took me a minute to fall back to sleep. However, what is, is happening here? I don't know, but it's not it's not misting. Sorry, y'all. You just put water in it. Yeah, it's look. I just put the oil. Oh, crap. Something's clogged or something. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna let it run for a second and see if it will naturally unclog itself. Otherwise, I will have to pour all of this out. No, you won't. Well, I would just pour it into a cup and then just pour it back in there so that we don't waste the oil. But it's like, let me show y'all what it's doing. A whole lot of good. Yeah, it's being really weird. So if y'all can't see, <laughs> that is, um, yeah, not supposed to be happening. This whole thing is supposed to be like bubbling or what have you but anywho we'll fix that I don't know what's happening to my trusty dusty diffuser but we shall fix it we are going to do a little bit of gardening today because um, all the vegetables that I planted I'll talk more about it when we go outside but they're in the wrong thing and they need to be repotted and yeah all that good stuff so we're gonna do that First, we're going to have coffee because that always comes first. What did I do with my coffee? Ah. And then we're going to have to make a trip to the Dollar Tree. I didn't really want to leave the house today, but our plants are suffering, so we have to. But luckily, Dollar Tree is, like, at the corner. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go to Dollar Tree. And then, y'all, I'm going to cook up a whole chicken today. A whole... Rotisserie chicken. For those of you who don't like meat or think meat is gross, close your eyes for 20 seconds. 
But anyways, this is a whole chicken. And as soon as we finish our coffee, I am going to season that, rub that down so it can marinate for a little bit before I put it in the oven. Then I'm going to let it slowly roast in the oven all day until it's time for dinner. So, yay. I'm excited? I'm excited. I'm excited too. But, all right, y'all. We're going to finish up our coffee. I don't know. Oh, it's always something going on with this lens. It's looking a little like... It's looking a little dirty. Ooh, what did that do? It's because of how the couch is, the light is like right there. So if I turn around like this, y'all, this is what y'all get. If y'all wondering. Nothing. You can barely see me. Can you see my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> so I have to turn around like this. Teeth! Sunday fun day, Sunday fun day. No, so you guys, we were gonna take y'all along. First of all, good morning. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, well, anyways, um, so we were just gonna take you around to film it all with us, but they have music playing in the background, and we we just didn't want them problems. Copyright issues. But they had an amazing deal. We got like. Lipton tea for a dollar for the family size bags, the whole box. Um, we got taco shells for like a dollar. Amazing. We got some little knickknacks. So, needless to say, fifty to five dollars or so later. <laughs> I got a bunch of gardening supplies too, but the one thing we went in there for, which was the gardening pot, the pot so I could repot the vegetables. They do not have. So unfortunately, we have to go to another store. She should have really just listened to me it. and went to at home. First of all, at home is nowhere near our house. Second of all, it's expensive. It's not though. They can have deals from here to there, but it's not going to be your go-to store to buy multiple items. And I, it's more like decor stuff, anyways. So. And pots. But I'm not looking for like ceramic pots. She wants the cheap pots for plants that we're about to have for a lifetime. They're not going to be in those pots for a lifetime, right? So what do we plan on Anyways, we hit up a whole lot of deals and saved a lot of money. And I'm hungry, so we have to find food. Man, I'm hungry. It's 2.12 and once again, we have not eaten all day. If you can even hear me right now. It's so windy. It is. That's all I'm gonna be able to hear. Oh well, ciao for now. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay y'all, so we stumbled upon this little farmer's market. It's kind of like in the parking lot out here. So yeah, we're about to go check that out while we wait on our food to get ready because we had to call the order in and it won't be ready for 30 minutes, she said. So while that is going on, we're going to check out this very cool farmer's market and see if we can't find some good, yummy, delicious things to take home. Why not? 20 minutes later. No food yet. But we got some yummy popsicles. They really are yummy. I got them. Um... They're all natural. She said she only uses fruit and maybe some honey to sweeten, but I got a watermelon one, and I don't know if you can see it because we'll close this, but you can see the bits of watermelon. And I got the peach. It's real peach in there, y'all. It, it really tastes like I'm eating a peach. It's delicious. Oh. So after many stores which was not even a plan still didn't find any pots to replant my veggies so when in doubt turn to Amazon I had a feeling that's what you were gonna do and I started to ask you why didn't you look on Amazon well, they got um, a 15 pack of them but those are only 6 inches and I don't think they're gonna do that 
Y'all, wouldn't y'all say baby glowing over there? She all cute and stuff. Look at her. Y'all mm -hmm. see it? <laughs> Maybe I'm hot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Anywho. We were just checking in about these popsicles. Oh, we got other things too. Um, we got some jam, which I'm not really big on jam, but okay. I'm coming around. A lot of things that I didn't like or like didn't eat before, I find that sometimes, sometimes, I'll try them again and they're actually not bad. I won't say good. Like, I'll now eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like half of one, but I mean, progress. it's progress. I'm eating peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> um, I wouldn't eat biscuits before. I do kind of eat biscuits now. I would not eat cornbread, and um, now I eat cornbread. So we'll see about this jam situation. It may be all right. Babe is still into her plan room over there. I got to find the hot. Hmm. That means turn the camera off. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We are back at home. <clears throat> We've eaten lunch. Um, and it was delicious. I mean, I'm kind of sad that we didn't have it last night. But then again, I'm kind of glad that we had it today, if that makes sense. Because it was delicious. I'm super stuffed. And I feel like my stomach's going to explode. But y'all, look at this pile of things. Minus those backpacks, don't those were just in Dee Dee's trunk and we needed to clean. We were just cleaning out her trunk. But y'all, I went to get garden pots and this is what I came home with, and I don't even have the garden pots. Like, this is a trap, and I fell into it. <clears throat> but isn't this the cutest little watering can you ever did see? Hold on. Oh, you did it to yourself. <sighs> isn't it cute, guys? It's so cute. So yeah, this is um, a result of clearance and some stuff that I was looking at um, for our outside patio anyway, but a lot of it was just like, it caught me. <laughs> Especially the clearance basket. And some of the stuff she snuck in the basket. Damn it all. I, I didn't see it. In the basket. I didn't see it until we got here. I didn't know you picked up that. All of that stuff was in my hand when I came up to you and you said, we need to get a basket. I didn't look at the stuff. I just said we needed a basket because I saw you with a lot of stuff. So, yes. We picked up a bunch of different items. A lot of it was on clearance. So, it's not like no big deal at all, y'all. So, I am a little sad, though. I am going to have to order the pots on Amazon. But, you should be sad that we were in the have I know. I just said I can't believe we don't have no pots. So, y'all. My big, pretty pink flower is... Dun, dun, dun. Dying. There's the purple one. They they just go off and on, off and on. I don't know. But what's most important is that we started this little um, garden. And this is what I need to repot. So these are the green beans. See how they're already growing up out of this, this thing here? Um, this is greens. And then this is cucumbers. Um, this right here is supposed to be, um, peppers, but this we didn't start from seeds like we did the rest of these. This one we bought already potted and it's doing the worst, so I don't know. These are peppers that we planted from seeds and they're doing really well, but they're gonna, they're gonna start going really, really bad. Um, we're trying to grow potatoes here, but don't know how well that's working. And then this was another pre-potted plant that we brought the tomato but it's not doing well either so my thought is to get them all out of that thing and into some pots so yeah they can spread out a little bit and then you know we've been growing kale this whole time before we even started the other vegetables Babe, I really think they need some water because even the kale is not doing. It's looking kind of sickly, y'all. Look. Well, let me get rid of water and 
So this is the kale. Okay. And this is the little watering thing that we had before, but it's so it's too little to do all of this. All of that. Those two plants are usually hanging here and here. And then those two plants. So that's why I got another one. But sadly, I thought I was gonna be like gardening it up today. But I couldn't find any pots, guys. So I'm gonna have to order some pots off Amazon. That's just it's gonna have to happen. Can you so But you know what you might have to um ooh, it's so pretty. Look y'all. Look at that cute little farmhouse watering can. And the beautiful wife doesn't come with the can. No, it doesn't. Sorry. But you can find that cute can at um, Big Lots if you have one in your area. <laughs> maybe. Was that the only, that was like the only one not there, wasn't it? Right. There they didn't have a whole maybe. bunch of, I don't know, maybe you can. But if you have Big Lots in your area, that's where we got the can. So, yeah. All right, Tom. I just wanted to check in and show y'all all the shopping that we didn't mean to go out and do. This can is horrible. You don't like it? And I'm thinking you're going to have to pull the other plants down to water with that can. Cute ain't always what it's cracked up to be. It's cute, <laughs> it's but it's cute like well, but it's not functional. No. It's like decorative. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Look at the water. Look. Yeah. I'm sorry. See, you should have kept the family dollar one. <laughs> Trying to go with cuteness. And cute ain't really functioning for her water in these plants, so that means we're gonna have to get another a reasonable one. But that one's cute for decoration. What? I'm gonna forget this can. <laughs> we don't buy stuff just for decoration. I mean, but we already have it, so. And I'm gonna dry it out and take it and right take back to the store. No, it's too cute to take back. So we just gonna have a non-use can. Well, you better take some of them greens or something and plant them in here. You gotta have a purpose to stay in this house. Look who's talking, the hoarder herself, <laughs> making rules on what can stay and what has to go. That's like the pot calling the kettle black. You out of water, honey. I'm not so. <laughs> I'm, I'm not so. That's why I told you to pull it down. You're hard headed. You're hard headed. You want the other one? It's no. functional. <laughs> <laughs> had to make a few trips, but it's functional. Babe, you're going to get soaking wet. And you're going to break my glass. I got to go, y'all, before she hurts herself or others. <laughs> Dinner is done. Let me bring y'all on in. Let's see. Here is the bird. Some veggies. It's a... Uh, Carrots, potatoes, and broccoli. And then over here is some cornbread. And Didi's taking photos to post on our social media. If you're not following us, you should be. Um, we update on Instagram regularly and Facebook pretty much. And we're starting to get the Twitter up and going, but you know. How that is. You don't tweet. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it really, but Instagram we do. So I do Twitter too. You definitely should. You. Definitely should be following us on Instagram. Also, we tend to post stuff there that we don't include in the video, so you should definitely be following us if you want to keep up with us in real time. For instance, uh, when we went to Safari, I had a like cool little talk with an animal, so you'll have to check that out on Instagram because it's not in this video. So, I got a mouthful of cornbread. Oh, that's what you that's why you can't respond because you in the cornbread. <laughs> that's why you like, I like, <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So Look at that big bite. That's <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Hi, guys. 
it's actually a couple days later well a few days later but I realized we didn't properly close out the vlog and I wanted to do that um, for a couple reasons one is I wanted to properly welcome everyone to this channel we've um, I looked at the analytics and we have gained over like a hundred followers in just a couple of weeks so welcome everyone to the Denali crew we love having every one of you we love being able to share parts of our lives with you um, we love to read your comments in um, below I cannot even talk today guys um, but I'm trying to get this video edited and I wanted to close it out so again welcome 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 we love each and every one of you and we thank you for subscribing to our channel make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss when we post we don't really have an upload schedule I try to post at least once a week maybe twice but there's usually at least something going up once a week. So look out for those videos. And again, welcome to our channel. The other thing I wanted to do is give you guys an update on our TTC journey. So if you are just joining us, we are on a journey to become parents. And we are using a known donor. And we are doing at-home insemination. We're going to do a more detailed video later. But we are in cycle two. And that's what I wanted to talk about. We're in cycle two. We are six DPO today. So we are just in that two-week waiting period where uh, we're waiting to see if we're pregnant. So that's the update, you guys. We've already had the insemination for cycle two. And we are in the wait. So fingers crossed. Send all your love, your baby does. Comment down below if you have any tips or tricks. Um, last time I think we tried like the whole pineapple and Brazil nuts or something like that. Just we think it's fun to try all these things that people say help you. They might be myths, but we try them as long as they're not harmful to myself or supposed to baby. So if you have any tips, tricks, or old wives tales that you use or have heard of or that your family deeply believes in, comment down below so we can try those things. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us from this weekend i had to split the video up into two videos because it was just a little bit too much content for one video but we thank you for hanging out with us this weekend and we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys yeah girl you're so overwhelming you're like a song to which my heartbeat is playing like oh na na